Hello everyone, uh, this is Ray Cabrera. Just want to make a quick video of uh, the Shiler um, Quintel ESV version. Um, received mine last Friday, I've had it for a week now. I've been able to handle it um, and read from it. I could say it's probably the best Bible I've held in my hand to date. Um, for the past year, I have been using the uh, Marine Blue exclusively. Um, NS NCR. It's been the one I've been using for, well, sorry, for for teaching and preaching and kind of take everywhere. And um, I've, I love the Bible. I, I it's actually very handy. And um, the font is a ten font. And probably one of the most beautiful Bibles I've ever held. Um, the leather on this is unmatchable. Uh, the green blue is just very soft, supple. But uh, the Quintel, I'm telling you, it's right there. The leather itself, it's a beautiful grain. You can see I like, I like the green. You can compare it with the blue of the marine blue here. But marine blue is still a darker, I like a... A nicer shade of blue, I would think. This again, I've never seen. When you take pictures, you can see how the blue just jumps out. But um, the shade of blue on this Bible is beautiful itself, and the green—it's just a nice, uh, nice green that they have, and um, you can feel it. It's just, it's a thicker, stronger leather, um, which you you need for this Bible. It's 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 a bigger Bible. Um, for those that have the NCR, um, you see it's. Quite a bit thicker. Um, let me see if I find my ruler. And you can see. Let me see here. Yeah. With, yeah, it's about a quarter inch short, I guess thinner. Than the um, Quintel NSAB, um, but you can see when it's side by side with the NCR, it's, it's a thicker Bible. Um, but unlike the NSAB, it's it's still handy. I, it's a it's lighter. It feels lighter than the NSAB. Um, you see the arc gilding on there. They did a really good job with this Bible. Everything is well done. That was, sometimes you buy a new Bible and, and you're kind of disappointed. There's nothing about this Bible that disappoints me. The leather, the way that it's executed. You can see the, the corners. Very well built. Um, I really can't complain. Um, And you'll notice when you open it up, the paper, compared to the uh, NCR, it's just, the font just pops out. And the paper it is, is a lot better than the NCR. It's, it's thicker. It's thicker paper, but... It's less distracting. It's there is line matching with the Quintel, whereas the NCR you don't have that line matching, and it's a little bit more distracting. The font size being a little bigger, just easier on the eyes. Especially, I guess, if you're on a pulpit and you need to find the passages quickly, I can see that being uh, an asset. Um, the paper on the NCR feels a lot thinner than the paper in the Quintel. Um, still love both. Still love my NCR, but Quintel has done a great job with the overall Bible. Just great, um, nice, beautiful, luscious leather and a nice, nicely bound 
but at the same time it, you can tell it's quality leather it's not a, a thin cheap leather um, they've paid attention to all the details you can see how the the Holy Bible English Standard Version is bigger it's the stamping they paid more attention to the stamping and making it I guess more in line with the size of the Bible. I know the Holy Bible, the English Standard Version is very tiny on the original version. Um, you can also see I bought one for my wife and um, in the red for Valentine's Day. And uh, when she read mine and she saw the font on there, again, that makes all the difference in the world, especially when you're aging and your eyes aren't as good and you're teaching when you're teaching it's it's easy to open up a bible and find passages when the font is just bigger um you can see with the red it's just again a very vibrant red where the blue is a very vibrant blue um the green on i would say on the blue is a i guess on this particular model is a little bit more dense Whereas the red is more fine, it's a finer green. I'll stand back here, there's a better color here, you get a true color here. Um, I like the way they have the, like a darker, more um, burgundy color inside. Again, with the trimming on the red, um, similar to the other Schuler's um, or Shiler Bibles that um, have had have the red covers but just again um, this one does feel solid in your hands it's well built stitched like the other one but I think what sets the Quintel the SB Quintel apart from the rest of the Bibles is the size of the font the quality of the paper in a handy size um, the NSAB is maybe a little bit too thick to carry around exclusively. And I think they've corrected that with this paper. You have to give a little bit on the, on the width because if you want good paper, you're going to have a thicker Bible. And I think the 38 GSM is a perfect balance between the thickness um, of the Bible and uh, good opacity when it comes to the to reading you want to have a, a pleasant reading experience and this you know we you have the line matching plus the thick paper it just makes it very pleasant to read easy on the eyes uh, you don't get as tired as much it's just when I open the Bible it's just a pleasure uh, to read it let me um, you know I have my uh, real quick here I have actually have my 2002 which I believe is also 45 GSMs. And let me open up the Psalms. And you can see, this is the 2002 uh, version of the uh, Foundations NSAB SCR, single column reference. And you can see, uh, you can see underneath, but it's very faint. Again, this is a beautiful Bible in itself. Uh, the only thing that this does add is you have the side for notes, whereas here we don't have as much room, but you have the double, double column, which um, when reading sometimes it's easier to keep your eye focused on. The references are on the bottom. I like the red um, because, again, accentuates the verse, makes it very quickly, makes it very easy to find the verses quickly. Um, and looking at both of them, I would say that the um, 2002 paper is slightly better. But at the same time, it is a little thicker. 
Um, let me see if we can get up close. You can see it's slightly better, but for but I like the font on on the Quintel better. For some reason, it just and the way they space the words, it, it um it is easier uh, on my eyes uh, when you when you go from one to the other. It's easier for me to pick things up and just. I guess the font that it was a Milo font, I believe it is. It's just um, a font that's very easy on the eyes. Modern font. You can see this is the uh, 2002 SCR. When I, which is more the thickness of the uh, NSAB Quintel, and you can see it's slightly thicker. Uh, Let's see. Uh, put them side by side. Uh, slightly thicker. I would say maybe eh, one eight three sixteen sticker. Um, I actually have a Quintel NSAB on its way. Um, when I get it, I guess I can do a better. Com I can better compare both of them and the height. Um, but here you have it um, just a quick review um, of the Bible um, for those that don't know this one was actually bound by Mecklen in uh, Pennsylvania in a goatskin with a leather line and here you have it um, quick review of uh, my Quintel ESV and I just um, I highly recommend it. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, you won't regret this Bible. If you have to have one Bible that has everything uh, but thinness, this is it. If you're a person that um, does not like th thicker Bibles, you know, this is about the size of a MacArthur Study Bible. Um, then, you know, um, you got to get something thinner. But I'll tell you, this is a perfect balance. You're not going to find better paper. Um, and, you know, better opacity with a thinner Bible. This is, you know, you have to give and take. And I think they, they've got the perfect balance here. I uh, hope you had like the review. Uh, take care.